As Austin grows, some homes are falling apart and their neighbors are frustrated because some sit abandoned for years, in some cases, more than a decade. Tonight on KXA News at 6 o'clock, we revealed in recent years there have been more than 400 abandoned homes in every corner of the city. And we have heard your health and safety concerns with those homes in your neighborhoods. Now KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller reveals what Austin could learn from other cities. Well, all of the, all of the wood along the, the front of the house is rotted where you can actually see up inside of the attic. This is what Mitch Shelton passes every day on his way home. Absolutely. We love this neighborhood. We've been here 12 years. Here, one home sticks out. Complaints to Austin Code say this house has been abandoned for more than five years. Austin Code faced challenges, attract the owner, who they found got in trouble with the law, and been locked up out of state. Oh, I know most kids are curious, like we were when we were growing up, you know, about vacant houses, any kind of, you know, vacant buildings, and, and I would hate to see, you know, a child get hurt. Then, after our investigation started, Austin Code served a search warrant. Um, yes, there was a smell, of course, of, uh, with the feces and the and the deceased cat. Yes, they found waste in what they think is a dead cat inside. Investigators also found water damage to the ceiling, but an Austin Code spokesperson says the home is mostly structurally sound. Our investigation found several properties abandoned for years. Some neighbors tell us they'd like to see the houses torn down rather than slowly falling apart. So we wanted to see how Austin's demolitions compared to other cities. In Dallas, a program with the National Guard called Operation Crackdown targeted more than 30 homes for demo in one month. Dallas officials say the city demolishes about 250 mostly single-family homes per year. Houston officials say the city and owners demolished more than 600 dangerous buildings last year. In Austin, records show the commission charged with taking most of these cases issued seven demolition orders last year. Why is there that disparity? Uh, there, there's a couple of reasons for that. And I think the primary reason is that we really don't have the volume of uh, vacant, uh, dangerous buildings that Dallas and Houston has, and some of the other major cities too. Austin Code Director Carl Smart says that's a good thing. He also says there is more of an effort to save houses in Austin. Still, while the homes go through the city process, they can cost you, the taxpayer. The city says cutting the grass and other upkeep at private properties cost nearly 45 grand last fiscal year. Smart says Austin tries to get the owner to pay those costs. The city sends a bill and puts a lien on the property. Do you usually get that money back? Uh, it's, it's not easy to get it back. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. Um, usually if a property sells, and we've had a lot of um, uh, movement as far as selling of properties here in the city of Austin, fortunate that way. When a property sells, usually they want to clear all the back liens on the property. Aye. Most times, homes with major problems end up here, in front of the city's Building and Standards Commission. Now the city is exploring new avenues, and Austin is learning from Dallas. One of the things we took from them is their aggressive attitude as far as taking legal action and taking cases to uh, district court. And so we've, we've, we've adopted a model somewhat akin to that. With that new power, Smart says a judge can hold the homeowner in contempt of court to enforce an order. This is certainly a home that, um, that a family can move into and, and could live in um, after the repairs, of course, are, are done. Austin Code says there are 18 liens on this house totaling $10,000. The department is preparing to put the property in front of the Building and Standards Commission. I would either like to see somebody uh, repair it, you know, go through it and, and uh, bring it into good repair or, or just demolish it. Austin Code has had some luck getting in touch with the owner of the home where it served the search warrant. That house is still going through the city process. Now, some of the homeowners we spoke with want to see a site more like this, an empty lot rather than an out of shape and empty home. The home that was on this lot took more than seven years to demolish. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN investigates. Kevin, thank you. Earlier, we revealed some of the owners of Austin's abandoned homes haven't been paying their taxes, $300,000, money that could be going to schools and local government. After our investigation revealed this problem, Travis County tells us it is taking legal action and it could lead to a crackdown on more cases. More on that tomorrow night on KXAN News at 6. We also discovered the Austin Code Department is changing, even its name. 
The director says when he started in 2011, the department had a staff of 69 people, and now it's grown to 108. The department also recently changed its name from Code Compliance to Austin Code. It's trying to find a balance between getting property owners to comply with the rules and enforcing them. And looking a little closer, we learned a recent court case out of Dallas was also slowing demolitions. The case over a demolished home went all the way to the Texas Supreme Court. Austin Code says many cities put demolitions on hold until the case is resolved. The state has standards from notices to hearings that cities have to follow. Property owners also have some constitutional protections. All of these things can add up to the time it takes to handle a case.